The embrace that has gone viral, melting hearts around the world. Pope Francis laying his hands on a disfigured man. It's already one of the most widely shared images on CNN.com ever. To many, it symbolizes the new man in charge of the Catholic Church, that he's compassionate, real, inspiring, a pope of the people. How about this moment of holy hilarity? And could this be the first pontifical selfie? Unlike some predecessors, Pope Francis lives a simple life, declining the luxurious papal apartment, carrying his own bags, even driving around in something akin to the family truckster. Why are we so moved? What is it about it? I think that we see a lot of religious leaders who talk about reaching out to the poor and the marginalized and the disenfranchised, but we finally see a religious figure who's actually putting his hands on it, who's actually embracing these people physically. It's not just imagery. He's chastised the church for being too obsessed with gay marriage, contraception, and abortion. When asked his thoughts on gays in the church, he answered simply, si una persona gay, Who am I to judge? Just this week, he announced he's taking a survey to find out what's on the minds of Catholics the world over. He's kind of bringing them out of that age of the bad, really bad PR scandal of the sex abuse. And so they love that part of it. It's, it's good news about the church. On the other hand, this is a pope who likes to color outside the lines. And I think when it comes to doctrine, that makes a lot of conservative bishops in particular very nervous. Barely a month on the job, Pope Francis washed the feet of juvenile delinquents, including a Muslim girl, demonstrating another trait not often associated with powerful leaders, humility. This surprising pope is winning over many, including arguably his toughest critics, like this tweet. I may be an atheist, but there's something about Pope Francis that makes me want to be Catholic. He's so inspiring. Martin Savage, CNN.